Hey friends, welcome to week three of my Christmas Crafty Stash series. Today I'm going to be sharing my uh, ribbon, trim, and fabric stash. So I didn't pull out all of my ribbons. I do have quite a few that are more on the pastel Christmas, but because the, my paper pads this year are majority traditional, I pulled out mostly traditional things to use that way I had items to use up those paper pads so first off I have a big bag of scraps and it also has some snowflake trim and then I do have two rolls in there this with the snowflakes this is merry little Christmas I've got for fabric I just have this green one with the lights and these two plaids i thought these would go perfect with farmhouse christmas by echo park i've got one of these little bins from dollar tree with some green pom-pom and then some of the ruffle trims that i had been working on with napkins and crepe paper i've got a couple in there In this cute little container, I have some more green pom-pom trim. And these little ribbons here were all gifted to me in a swap. And so I just keep them in here. And I can see what I have to use. So I've got like the gold and the silver. I've got solids and prints. And I just like to keep them in this cute little um, container. I was able to pick up this um, bucket of trims at the end of season at Michael's. This is perfect for traditional and for the farmhouse Christmas. And then this came from Walmart. It's just red and green and it's very like soft um, trim that's really pretty to tie on packaging so I have that I've got some white of uh, this scrubby yarn some green tool with stars in my bin here I've got all of my um, silver gold uh, fur trim and then my little sequins trim there and I keep that out year round but I do use it for crafting and then the only snowflake trim that I have in my stash right now is the green um, so I'll definitely need to grab some more white because I use the white a lot so that is everything for my ribbons trims in fabrics so i'm excited to use some of these things i think i want to make some ruffles with these for projects uh, maybe make like some pouches which i always have fun uh, making to send swaps in um, so i think that will be fun i hope you will stop back by for the final final day of my Christmas Crafty Stash series. Next Monday the 27th, I'll be sharing my sequins, die cuts, any other little thing. Like if I, I've got a couple little mini ornaments. Um, I've got some little pom-pom things, different things like that, that I'll be using for crafting. So I hope to see you next Monday the 27th. Hope you all have a great week. Bye!